I had moved to a new apartment on town. It was closer to my college. I was looking for a roommate to help me with the rent and the bills. However, until that moment, I hadn't found anyone. The apartment wasn't big, but that was not a problem. I didn't have many things. I just wanted to finish my college and move to a small city. I spent good part of the day working and studying. I used to get home at 6 o'clock. Something that I really liked was watching the stars. I'm completely fascinated by the starry sky. That makes me remind of the city I was born. However, the pollution here didn't provide the same feeling. But still, it brought me peace and made me remind of my parents. So, with a good cup of coffee, I used to stay there 30 or 40 minutes every day. One day, I was there, watching the stars as usual, when I realized someone was watching me. It was really dark, but I could see two glowing eyes looking at me. I tried to pretend that I wasn't annoyed with that, but I was afraid. That's when I got the flashlight and pointed to the apartment. But that person just ran. However, I could see it was my neighbor's daughter. I didn't know what she wanted. Her family was mysterious, and to be honest, they treated the girl really bad. They practically ignored the poor little girl. After that day, I noticed that she used to watch me every day from her balcony. She looked at me like she needed something, like she wanted to talk or tell me that something was happening. I got a little concerned about it. Once I was coming back from work, when I passed by their door, I heard her voice and she was whispering something. It was like her voice was inside my head. I went to my balcony that day and didn't see her. I wondered if something was up. I was curious, so I decided to knock on their door. My neighbor answered. I lied. I told him I had no water in my apartment, and I'd like to know if he had the same problem. In that moment, I realized there were no pictures of the girl on the walls, and I didn't see her there. When I went back to my apartment, I couldn't think of anything else. In my mind, the little girl was in danger. I thought about calling the police. When I saw them leaving, that was my chance. So, without thinking twice, I decided to knock on the door again, because I didn't see the little girl with them. I knocked, but the door was already opened. I got in looked everywhere but I didn't see the girl, which made no sense because I didn't see her leaving. I was about to leave when the light in one of the rooms started to flick. It was the little girl's bedroom. I heard some noise coming from the closet and when I opened it, I saw something that scares me every time I think about it. What are you doing here?